day to all the cool cats out there in Mad Dragon's podcast land. You might have guessed by now. I'm not cool. I'm a massive nerd. But we have some real cool cats in the Dragon Squad in 2022. And one of them, he's my mate. He's your mate. He's everybody's bud. It's Jaden Sullivan. When Jaden Sullivan guided the Illawarra Steelers to the under-18s SG Ball Premiership in 2019, I knew this kid had something special. An innate ability to read the game as it unfolded in front of him. The talent to see all the cracks and creases and the skills to take advantage of them in an instant. He was not merely a flashy seven that did things to make himself look good. He was a puppet master, guiding the team where they needed to be and getting the opposition to do what he wanted them to do. And this allowed him to make those around him look good. As well as, from time to time, looking pretty damn good himself. There were subtleties in his game that halves his age simply don't have. Fast forward to 2022 and Jaden Sullivan has played just nine games since that 2019 Premiership. Six in the NRL and three in New South Wales Cup. He's played just one game in the seven jersey in the last two seasons. COVID and injuries have conspired against him to stall his rise to the top. But this bloke has a determination and a true love for rugby league and there will be nothing that will stop him from reaching his potential. Last year, he took his rare chance to play the game he loves by playing out of position at nine and showed his toughness, making 50 tackles in just 55 minutes in the final round of the regular season. If you want him to play front row, he will. Run through a brick wall, not a problem. Tackle monsters that are twice my size, just give me the chance. But where will he find that chance in 2022? Captain Ben Hunt seems to have a monopoly on the seven jersey, and with Andrew McCulloch fit, he will fight with Junior Amon and new recruit Moses Mbai for the six or the 14. I think Junior is a more natural running six and his style will better complement the way Hunt is going to play. And while I think Sullivan is infinitely more talented than Mbai, I don't think playing 20, 15, 10 minutes off the bench out of position is the best thing for his development right now. Jaden Sullivan will be our seven the next time we win a premiership. And in my opinion, Sullivan needs as much time as possible playing seven. So for me, the best thing for the club long term is for Sullivan to own the New South Wales Cup team, playing 80 minutes at halfback every week. Of course, if the New South Wales Cup competition doesn't go ahead, then it's bye-bye and bye. Jaden Sullivan will get his chances throughout the year, in my opinion. There will be injuries, and basically anyone in the back line is injured, and Jaden Sullivan will be the first bloke to come into the team. So he'll have plenty of chances throughout the year, uh, probably playing a variety of different roles, but his predominant role for me should be playing seven as often as possible, If that has to be in reserve grade, if Ben Hunt is fit, then I think Jaden Sullivan should be playing seven in reserve grade as often as possible. So that's my thoughts on Jaden Sullivan. Now it's time for you to tell me what are your thoughts. There's a lot of people out there I know that will want Jaden Sullivan in the 17. There's a lot of people that will want to have him in the seven, move Ben Hunt to nine, all those sorts of things. Let us know down in the comments. Let us know your thoughts on what the Dragon should be doing with this prodigious talent. That is Jaden Bud Sullivan. 
We've only got one more player preview to do. This one's going to be an interesting one as well. It's going to divide Dragons fans, I am certain. It is a new recruit, new front rower, Aaron Woods. See you tomorrow, and go the Dragons! Dragons! Dragons!